Hello my loves, today I'm going to be doing a holiday party recipe video. So these are a few of my absolute favorite recipes right now. If you are like yours truly and you are kind of new to cooking, so new to anything that isn't putting lasagna in the oven, um, I think that these are going to be not only super easy but also really fun. So if you want to do them with the kids, if you want to do them with the hubby or the boyfriend or the girlfriends, whoever, I think it could be such a fun way to come together this holiday season and make some really fun treats for your holiday parties or just for your bellies because that's totally what's gonna happen with all this food tonight. So for now, let's get into it. For this first recipe, you will need King's Hawaiian sweet rolls, Swiss cheese, a pound of ham, Dijon mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. You'll also need about a stick and a half of butter, so I'm currently frying that in the pan and heating it up while I do the part where I make the actual sandwiches. I made this way harder than it needed to be, actually. Um, it shows you in the tutorial that you basically leave them all packaged together and you cut straight down the middle so that you can kind of just put the tops back on once you're done um, and have your sandwiches totally made. I could have saved five minutes by doing that, but I took them apart and then broke them apart individually, which is not necessary. Um, I definitely recommend just doing it the way they showed in the video, leaving them packaged together and cutting straight down the middle of all of the rolls. But what I'm doing is I am opening them up, then I am inserting a slice of ham that I've kind of rolled up so that it's a little bit thinner, and about a fourth of a slice of cheese. And that's genuinely all there is to it. You'll just want to make sure that each of these has a little bit of ham, a little bit of cheese, and you're good to go. Coming back to the sauce mixture that goes on top of these sandwiches, I'm adding about a tablespoon and a quarter of Dijon mustard, as well as the tiniest bit of the Worcestershire sauce. And then I am mixing that all together and continuing to let it melt, and then I will drizzle that on top of the sandwiches. It's a perfect complement to the sweet rolls. So I'm putting those in the fridge and it recommends to leave them overnight, but I actually only did it for about two hours before I popped mine into the oven. You bake these from anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes and you have these perfectly made and proportioned little ham and Swiss sliders. For the next recipe, you will need milk, eggs, and cinnamon, along with a tiny bit of vanilla. Starting off by cracking four eggs and putting them into my mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add the milk, mixing in that cinnamon and vanilla for flavor. Then I will start to mix and whisk that together. Now this recipe originally calls for King's Hawaiian sliced bread and I could not find that at my local grocery store so I instead used the hot dog buns. These are the original sweet formula and basically I just very quickly dipped them into the mixture then put them on the frying pan and I cooked them until they were golden brown. Just in case you can't find these hot dog buns at your local grocery store, I also wanted to show you what they would look like when you use the original King's Hawaiian sweet rolls. So I just broke those in half, dipped them in the mixture the same way I did the hot dog buns, and they come out kind of looking like little French toast bites. They're so delicious, um, and my family definitely loved this recipe. for the amazing people over at King's Hawaiian for partnering with me on this video. I have to say it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had and I think I learned a lot and just figured out some recipes that are simple that I could pass along to you guys that hopefully you will use as well. And if you do recreate them, make sure to let me know on Instagram and Twitter and everything and tag myself as well as King's Hawaiian. If you enjoyed, make sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and until next time, I love you. I will see you in the next video.